There is no denying it. Nate Rickert is a real cut-up. Sometimes I have baseball cutting parties with my friends, but generally I'm a one-man show. Nate went to college to study accounting, but he spent a lot of time at Truman State on the pitcher's mound. Even though his 70-mile-an-hour fastball wasn't exactly tearing up the game, he discovered a new game by tearing up the ball. The first one I made was just something that I thought would look cool, hang it on my own wall in, in, in my room, and, and a couple of my friends wanted one, and so it started kind of the snowball. What Nate makes is a kind of folk art he titles America's Game. They are U.S. flags made from old baseballs. The stripes are strips of seams. The stars are swatches of jersey fabric. The symbolism that baseball and America are stitched together. It's just such a part of our, our culture in general that I think it just truly represents um, the combination between the love of America and a love for baseball in a single image. It's just a great representation of that. Creating these pieces is not much more complicated than a third grade art project, but... It's kind of risky with the X-Acto knife, and, and so I wouldn't recommend doing this at home by any means. Plus you have the, the patent. Plus you might get a lawsuit. <laughs> Nate has a full-time job as an accountant for A.G. Edwards, but he sometimes spends 20 hours a week slicing and dicing baseballs. It takes about an hour to make one flag. Nate buys his materials from high schools looking to get rid of torn or waterlogged balls that he can then repurpose for this higher purpose. I've had people ask, have you tried, have you thought of other sports? Basketball, soccer. But really, they're not America's game. They're just other sports. These are all t-shirts. Nate's artwork is so popular he can barely keep up with demand. So he started selling the image on prints and t-shirts, which have been sold for the past three years at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown and at the Old Bush Stadium. But his most impressive sale so far came in a phone order from Washington. They contacted me on a Sunday afternoon and, and called me up and said that they were personal friends with President Bush and worked in the White House in the West Wing and wanted to give him one for President's Day. So uh, they gave me specific instructions so that I wouldn't get flagged for anthrax to get through to the White House and shipping instructions. And, but I haven't heard where he's hanging it or if he ever got it, so hopefully he has. Did you charge it? Oh, yeah. The suggestion has been made that Nate outsource some of this work so he can create more of it. But he says America's game is not the sort of thing that should be made someplace like China. And besides, Nate's having a ball. In Florissant, Paul Shankman, Fox 2 News.